depending on which Linux distribution you use or if you're dual booting another operating system like Windows, you might have already seen something like this. This is Grub and it is a bootloader for operating systems. Most Linux distros like Debian, Fedora or Ubuntu use Grub as their default and yet all of them share the same common thing. They are mad ugly. So let's fix it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's video and in fact this is the first real video in 2023. Today we're going to take a closer look at bootloaders, how you can customize them, what you need to be aware of and why some online blog posts are not always that useful. Right after you hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you very much. So what is up with bootloaders anyway? And why are they missing on some distributions? Okay, so first thing, they actually are not missing, but you might not get a selection menu. That's all I'm saying. A bootloader is essentially a small program that is saved on a storage device, which gets loaded by the UEFI in order to delegate control from it to the operating system. Or well, the kernel. Most operating systems have a bootloader. Windows has its boot manager, Apple has or used to have bootx, not sure if there is an actual name for the current one, and most Linux distros use Grub. Of course there are a lot more and especially on Linux, but hold on for a second. Why did I just say that most operating systems have a bootloader? Well that's because not every single operating system needs one. For example, on EFI machines or EFI, not quite sure, and since it's kernel version 3.3, the Linux kernel can boot by itself. And as a matter of fact, it is actually faster because you strip out an extra process. However, that being said, while it is faster, it isn't as robust and if the kernel breaks, then good luck. Right, so back again to bootloaders. On some operating systems, you don't even know it's there. On some, you notice it when something fails. And on some, it's just visible by default. But why in the world is it so ugly? Lightweight. Yeah, that's it. They just want to be lightweight, aka fast to load and of course reduce error sources. But especially if you use several different operating systems simultaneously and nowadays everything is on an SSD anyway, then you should think about customizing it. It's like a fresh cup of coffee in the morning. You see it and you instantly feel better. I'm not gonna lie, it is even very easy to do. So let's start off with Grub. Now there are several different basic methods like downloading and installing an application called Grub Customize, which can be useful, especially when all you want to do is to change the color and order of boot entries. But if you want something more, then you should look into theming. You can download a theme by simply searching for your desktop environment and head on to Grub themes. FYI, it doesn't really matter which desktop environment you use, because you can simply install any theme. The desktop environment is not even loaded, so it does not matter which one you choose. Yeah, so easy. Download it, throw the downloaded files into the right directory, add a line in the grub file and type sudo update grub. Done. Now simply reboot and you're greeted with your theme. Or that would be how it works in an ideal scenario. Now, if you're not seeing any changes yet, that there are several different issues that could have happened. One of the most common ones is the resolution. My monitor, for example, always had the issue that it didn't use 1440p and it's actually not that easy to enforce since you don't want to break it. So here's how to fix it. Inside Grub, press C to get into the console or you can just choose it from the menu. Now, depending on the version you're using, you can either type VBE info or video info. One of these two commands should return something like this. Now look for your screen resolution and note on everything that stands here. Then we can simply close the console and boot up our Linux distro. Now we want to open the terminal, open up the grub config file with sudo and uncomment the line that says grub underline gfx mode. We want to change the resolution here to the one we noted down earlier. But be careful, do not enter a resolution that is not supported by Grub. If you do, then there is a high chance that you break it. Alright, so let's save our file and update Grub. And there you go, it's fixed. Another problem that you might experience with Grub is that when you're using a distro like Fedora, the theme does not get applied and even Grub update does not even exist. What? Why not? Well that's because not every single Linux distribution uses the same versions or operates the same. Linux, in the context of open source operating systems, is not equal Linux. 
On Fedora, while you can still change everything in the same way like previously, we need to update grub with the command grub2 make config minus o slash boot slash grub2 slash grub.config. And again, just as simple as that. But while most Linux distributions use Scrub as their default bootloader, as with so many other things on Linux, there are other options as well. The thing about most of these though is that they are not really suited for most users. Either because they have limitations of booting certain operating systems, or they are just not getting maintained anymore. Heck, Lilo or Lilo was once a default. Yeah, it's been a minute. What I recommend if you want to switch out grub for something else is Burg. And while it still is a grub derivative, it supports way more customization out of the box. Its configuration is also mostly similar, just differently named. I'm leaving some links in the video description down below, so check them out if you want to use it. And yeah, that basically was the whole video. Well, of course, I originally wanted to include a lot more bootloaders. I simply scrapped it, mainly because it was frightening that close to no one uses something else than Grub. But hey, it just works, right? If you've enjoyed this video, then please make sure to show it with a like, a sub or even a comment. I'd love to hear from you. This will be an exciting year, let me tell you that much. But for now, all that's left to say is good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you are, I'll see you around.